Hello, good morning. Uh, I'm Lindsay Molyneux. I'm the Deputy Chief Analytics Officer and Deputy Director of the Mayor's Office of Data Analytics from the great city of New York. I hope we have some New Yorkers here. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> So uh, thank you very much to CFA to invite me to speak. What I want to talk to you uh, today is I would like to give you a little bit of high-level uh, goals and strategy of my office. And then if you're anything like me, you get excited about specific projects and details. So I want to walk you through one of our very cool tools and projects. So uh, open data in New York City, the mayor's office. So, the Mayor's Office of Data Analytics is a civic incubator for analytics in New York City. That means that we work with operational agencies, so the fire department, the parks department, the sanitation department, to use data to make their operations more effective. We also work uh, with the Open Data Initiative. So if you look up here, I'm not going to read the quote, uh, but you can see that we've recently set this massive goal for ourselves for open data for all all New Yorkers, data for all New Yorkers. So this is more than just data for uh, my team, the Moda team, which has physicists and economists and computer scientists, so you give them a JSON file and they're ready to go. This is also New Yorkers who maybe need to use uh, data through tools. And so how are we getting there? We're focusing on the big four, availability, usability, access, and quality. So that's the big goal, that's where we're going, all. How are we going to get there? So we have a very specific approach. The Moda philosophy for open data and analytics is we engage. So we talk and we talk and we talk and we ask questions. We work with subject matter experts. We demonstrate value. So anything in government, if you're spending a dollar for data or analytics, it's a dollar that's not being spent elsewhere. So you better have shown value for services for New Yorkers. Also, we translate insight into action. So we're not a research shop, right? We're looking to make different decisions, different actions, make improvements that are measurable. So, right, high-level philosophy, high-level goal. What does this actually look like on the ground? Uh, I'll, I'll skip. This is a feedback mechanism ecosystem. If you have any questions, ask me later. I love talking about feedback mechanisms. <laughs> uh, so. The New York City Business Atlas. So my office was approached uh, with this problem, right? So actionable insight. If you're a uh, small entrepreneur in New York City, you're at a bit of a disadvantage against the big players, right? If you're Starbucks and you're looking to site your new cafe, you can hire big market research tools and firms. Uh, you can do block-by-block -block analysis. So we were given this goal of, um, can we create this public-facing tool using just open data, incubated in-house using subject matter experts from our amazing colleagues at the Department of Small Business Services, and actually make a tool. This is both used in the city and is public-facing. You can go and uh, check it out, type in your address, think about where you're going to open your dream uh, business. Doing all of this in-house, right, and using open data, data that's freely available. So what did we do? <laughs> We took um, a lot of different data sets from around the city. So New York City has tons of information about businesses, but it's not connected. So we use data from licenses from Consumer Affairs, from the Water Department, uh, from the Business Integrity Commission, who uh, collects information about what kind of trash is being picked up at different locations, and basically created this master data set of all these different pieces of intelligence about businesses. And then the Moda team used uh, basically an in-house algorithm to do some probabilistic matching to say, OK, um, I think that there's a sign outside of a building that says books, 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 books. We think that's a bookstore, <laughs> right? Um, there's a building, and there's two different licenses in that building. One of them is a liquor store. One of them is a child care provider. We think those are two separate buildings <laughs> or two separate businesses, right? <laughs> Except maybe, maybe sometimes in Brooklyn. So we used, <laughs> uh, we, used this, uh, we used this approach, which you can see some of this is the tech tools that we're all very familiar with, right? So regular expressions, text parsing, probabilistic matching. And then some of it is insight and common sense, right? We also, um, and this is something, I think this theme has been brought up today, which I'm very happy to hear, this idea of embracing your failures and being very clear about pathways where you could have gone awry. 
we worked incredibly closely with our colleagues at Small Business Services because they were able to keep us focused, eyes on the prize, a usable, useful tool for entrepreneurs, right? So we came in at first, and you'll see here on this, uh, this uh, snapshot that um, we have lots of information but no scores. Our first set of ideas to come in was, oh, we'll make a score for every business um, or every neighborhood for businesses, and it'll be great. They give us this great insight immediately. Look, what's good for an auto yard is not good for a restaurant. <laughs> so just give people you know, more uh, disaggregated information. So it's exactly that kind of insight and the need to partner with subject matter experts outside the tech field that means that these tools are usable. Um, so yeah, so I hope that you guys log on. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be around and uh, enjoy the rest of the talk. Thanks. <laughs>